Good morning, folks. There is a lunar eclipse visible in a few hours. If you can see it, it should be quite the sight. For the rest of us, this is the Columbus, Ohio view. A few hours later, just after sunset, the full moon will conjoin Jupiter. Australia and New Zealand get Jupiter with the eclipse. Had a gamma burst from way up north for the second time in a row out of the constellation Cygnus. Cool link for you guys here, NOAA's climate records. There are a number of metrics you can choose from in the data set lists, weekly, monthly, daily, all time records, etc. Bulfa hasn't hit typhoon status yet, but it's only a matter of time. Updates will come as it speeds towards the Philippines. It came, it saw, you got soaked. Luckily, the main precipitation moved to the east and will continue before the next front arrives. There's a significant low pressure system set to sweep across the southwest Pacific. As usual, the pressure convergence dictates the weather. New Zealand appears quite comfortable while the temperature swings in southern Australia and the general storm warnings abound. Quickly having a look at Japan, which experienced this winter storm yesterday. Here's the Indian Ocean and surrounding land masses for the last day, Caribbean with development near the Yucatan, and finally, South America. The eastern U.S. got some solid snowfall yesterday, but the real weather story right now lies just off the west coast. We've been talking about this storm. What else can we say? California through Canada. Pay attention to your weather. We're seeing a different type of seismic ramp up this watch. It's not at the 6 magnitude line, but in seeing abnormally placed intraplate quakes, unusually high magnitude relative to the given area, and a moderate swarm near Central America. Tough to know what to make of this. Let's hope it's releasing the pressure. Top quake hit Peru this morning. It was a 6.1 in moment magnitude and a 6.7 in absolute magnitude. While the quakes are ramping slowly, not so for our star. We've already had two M flares last night. One from 11618 cresting the western limb in 304 angstroms. The great growing wonder 11620 popped one with no coronal mass ejection. And the northeastern limb with the solar tsunami and CME that may just graze Earth. More flares could be on the way as we still have what I'm calling a delta spot in the middle where the blue and red overtake the same penumbra. And the northeastern active region looks fairly menacing. Also got a coronal hole stream on the way from that dark spot you see near the center. Still awaiting two CME impacts first. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.